Nam the Kanu threatens to expose more looters following the suspension of the Chairman of the Economy and Financial Crimes Commission, Ibrahim Mago, the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, has threatened to expose more people who are involved in the looting of economy of the country. The leader of the group, Mazen Namde Kanu, who gave the threat in a press statement he released through the group's media and publicity secretary, Emmanuel Powerful, maintained that they are closely monitoring the activities of the commission. According to Namdi Kanu, he said that he has advised the commission to purge itself of crime before pointing accusing fingers on others, especially those from the southeast of the country. Namdi Kanu said that he would expose those criminals in this government who dared to monitor patient Gulag Jonathan and other Biafrans without correcting their own houses on the crimes they committed. More criminals will be completely exposed very soon. Suspension and removal of Ibrahim Magu are a test case of other Fulani people and others who derive joy in looting public treasury. The indigenous people of Biafra will expose more of them for the whole world to see how criminal minded they are. We are aware that the new acting chairman of EFCC, Muhammad Uma, is also beneficiary of the mess in the commission, having been its director of operations until now. IPOB is also monitoring him and his colleagues and those who put him to the office, now the colonel said. He, however, added that it is ironic that Ibrahim Magu, who was appointed to persecute looters, was shamelessly looting public's fund. The man appointed to persecute government looters in Nigeria is shamelessly looting and buying houses in Dubai with penury and impunity. In this hand, Nabde Kanu averged that the recent happenings in EFCC has confirmed his earlier stance that corruption war is not taken seriously in the country. This has confirmed our position that the so-called war against corruption is a huge joke, is a huge joke that shows the contraption called Nigeria is gone and cannot come back forever. Thank you viewers for listening to this news. Hmm. Namdi Kano has said it all. That is the truth. Namdi Kano has been telling President Momodou Buhari led government that one day the battle will be over. Nabi Kanu says that he will continue to expose um, many, he will continue to expose many looters. Nabi Kanu doesn't say what is not sure. Of. He has seen them and is yet to speak out, but he is saying that he will expose them and I know very soon their names will be mentioned. Nabi Kanu is someone that doesn't say what is not. Is someone that says the truth. Then back then he said he's going to expose President Momodu Buhari's um he's going to expose the person in Asorok and he did. Now he's saying that he's going to expose many looters in the country. And I'm very much sure that he is going to do that. And their names will be mentioned, and we know every one of them that has been looting Nigerian money, that have been eating Nigerian money, that have been taking Nigerian money to themselves. They have not been using the money to do that wish that is that that the, 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 the money is meant for. Sharing the money among each other, eating the money alone with their families, they all will be exposed very soon by Nabi Khan. Nambi Kanu said, mentioned, said something about the government. President Mamadou Bari's led government. 
that they should keep lying to us, that he will keep exposing them. And that is what he has been doing. And that is what he will continue doing. The replacement of the head of EFCC with, with someone from the same organization falls short of correction. They fall short of correction measures to stamp out corruption in that office. If there is any root within the organization, those working with the head are equally involved in this because they prepare the report which he rendered to the courts. What of um, the accountants in that organization when the discrepancies occurred, the director of operations, they report every operation in, in or activities. He will not deny knowledge of what happens. He will never deny knowledge of what happens. My question is, can the head take without giving him? No. What is he doing to oversee this? What is President Mondu Buhari doing to oversee this? The entire management should be accountable for this. They should be accountable for this. I know that many looters, those, it, they, 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 um, Ibrahim Magu is not the only one that has looted money. They are still there. They are still there to be to to be exposed. And Namikan has said it. IPO members have said they will expose them sooner or later. Their names will be mentioned and we all know those those people that have been using Nigerians money without um, any cost, without even thinking about it. These people are thieves and they are making Nigerians to go through such Oh, uh, a painful act. Uh, uh, a painful um, act. Imagine these people. They are so wicked. Look at what happened during the lockdown. The, uh, the billionaires and companies, they donated money to take care of uh, the, the, those um, infected by COVID-19. And to take care of those that are, that are uh, the, 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 the masses, the poor masses, that are, uh, uh, that are at home, doing nothing, that whenever they walk, they can never, if they don't walk, they, will, they can never feed their families. They were given this money to take care of those people, but what did the government do? Imagine that. What did the government do? They took the money and lavished the money share the money among themselves. They ate the money alone with their families without even looking back, without even knowing if Nigerian citizens, if the, if the poor citizens, if the poor masses are okay or not. They don't even want to know. They are not even concerned about what will happen or whatever will happen to these people. These masses, if they are suffering or not, take this money and share this money among each other. They enjoy this money with their families. What should we call that? Is that not wickedness? Is it wickedness? So Namdi Kano has come. This is why the government hates Namdi Kano so much. Because they know that Namdi Kano will keep exposing them. Namdi Kano knows their secret. This is why they have not been supporting Namdi Kano. This is why the government have, have have decided not to free Biafrans because they know that if Biafran leaves, their secret will be exposed. So, viewers, what is your take on this news? Your comment concerning this news is very important. Don't hesitate to drop your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive updates whenever I publish new videos. And don't forget, share and like this news as well. Thank you.